Hi, did you miss me? That was awkward. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, a workflow for video editing that I'm quite excited about. So I like doing video editing on my phone. Call me weird, whatever, that's fine. Um, I just enjoy it. Sometimes, however, when I'm in this sort of setup where I have my phone and I have my laptop, my MacBook, I would like the ability to be able to leverage the real estate on the screen. And what I was previously doing, and I'm still exploring this, but there I can get LumaFusion on Mac and it works really well and I have an overlay and it's it's good, it's fine, it's it works, it's, it's sufficient. However, I think for me, I prefer touching the screen to edit. I'm just more used to that. And so, you know, I have an iPad, that's one area. I don't always have this with me, however, but I've grown to like understand that when I'm just chilling or just anywhere, sometimes I like being able to video edit on here, like from wherever, like at any moment where I feel inspired to do so. Um, so that's why I'm kind of right now doing like kind of exclusive video editing on the phone. I'm gonna do that for a certain period of time. If I decide that I wanna switch it up, then I can start using this and the stylus and that's fine. But the purpose of today's video is to show you this. So you don't need LumaFusion open in order to do this. But if I go into this app here and I have a video that I'm actually gonna start editing uh, right now. So I'm gonna like just do a new project. I never name my projects. Probably not good practice, but whatever. That's what works for me. I don't have time to think about typing and it's just, you know, I'm just always rushing through things, I guess, for better or for worse. Okay, um, now where is what we just found on here? Okay, I think it's this one and this one. These are two videos I shot earlier. Uh, let me say about this. Okay, yeah, we're gonna edit this. So the whole idea here is if you press this button, the square. Actually, no, you have to go swipe down first and you have to press this button and you have to go into like what command center and make sure you add this. If you don't see it on yours by default, you can customize what shows up here. But this is um, right here, Kevin's MacBook Pro. So this is gonna cast what's on my phone to there. Okay, that's cool, but that's not entirely what we want, right? You have all this real estate here and here. Well, from the app, now we can press this button and we can do external preview and look what happens. External preview gives you a preview of what's what you're editing. Hey, hey how's it going guys? So, so there's, I just... there's two things about this. One is the audio now is coming out of the computer, which is, and it's no latency at all or minimal, not detectable, which is awesome. The other thing is <clears throat> because that's the case, I can leverage my headphone jack on here and not have to deal with Bluetooth. Sometimes like when I'm on here, I'll connect to Bluetooth and it's not as precise, right? But now I can just connect and, um, and listen to and monitor the video as I'm, as I'm working on it. And it's, uh, it works really, really well. So yeah, I just wanted to share this. Um, I, I, I was testing out, um, what is it called? DaVinci Resolve on here and Final Cut Pro and I felt as though because this MacBook Pro M3 is capable of handling more intensive video editing projects that I needed to learn a new platform. I even invested in the, um, what do you call it? the speed editor, which I now is like gaining dust. I mean, I, maybe eventually I might go back to it. I don't know. But for now, it's all about doing what works, right? And this is what works for me. And it feels good to be kind of going back to the tried and true um, uh, platform that just, you know, feels right. So that, my friends, is the end of today's video. And I'll see you later. Have a good one. Peace.